Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beach. Wait for the draw. Hope you're all having a fantastic day here on a Saturday. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin market today. So, what are we going to be doing? We're, really go we're going to be going through the short term, the mid term, the long term, and uh, our heavenly white line of glory at the end as well. So, without further ado, what has happened here? Make sure you're giving it a like as well if you're liking the video at any time. But what's happened here? We've basically been going sideways as predicted here. I didn't expect to, to really come below that kind of 11.2 area yesterday. I did expect these two moving averages to hold this 200 EMA, right, this purple line, and the 200 SMA being the white line as well, right? So we've had this white line kind of pushing us up, uh, but every other moving average pushing us down on the hourly, right? So um, what can we see here? Essentially... As we, as we talked about, right, we talked about potentially returning back to 11.3, testing around this area before having another small wave up, right? And with that, we were looking at a potential ascending triangle here uh, for the future, um, for us to potentially get some kind of measure move up and beyond here, up to kind of like 11.5, right? This is still a prediction I see coming into fruition. Um, we are below this 200 SMA right now, so it is a little bit more bearish, and it, I did say it looked bearish yesterday, but uh, with these moving averages, we can float up quite easily, right? So it, we, we are still in this kind of medium, neutral, uh, I don't know, coiled up zone here on a weekend, which you can expect to be doing, right? And as usual on a Saturday in times like this, we do have our volume decreasing here, as you can see. Uh, we do have our volume moving averages decreasing uh, as well as that, but our volatility is still not on the way down yet. So we need that to come down and then we can get a, a nice coiled up signal towards the sky or, or towards the abyss, right? Uh, so right now in terms of predictions, it is looking bearish. This does look like it is spilling over and coming down, maybe testing uh, 11,280 again before having another little bounce or continuation towards the downside, right? This is quite a barty area. You can still see this is a girthy candle, right? So a girthy candle all the way back up to like 11, 480 would not surprise me, right? That's that's a pretty plausible scenario. Uh, so we've got to be ready for that. Um, moving on here to the midterm. Okay, the important bit here. I would say you can see that essentially we've got this bull market barrier, right? We are inside of it right now, deep inside that bull market barrier. And I would say if we do get back above this bad boy at 11.8 uh, in the midterm here, we would initiate this this trend line measure move, right? The, this bigger channel measure move towards the sky, putting us somewhere around 13,000, right? Um, Instead, we've basically just been slowly grinding down into the middle of this, and now we are just chilling here, waiting to see uh, if we're going to hit one side of it, right? So if we are looking for longs or shorts right now, it's essentially, uh, if we do find some beefy support at 10, 7, 10, 8 area, right, and it does look like it's curling back up, that might be a good long all the way back up to the top of this channel, right? Um, and equally, if we do lose this area, uh, we can short down as well. Right, uh, and simil similarly towards the upside, if we break this and it does look good, we can look for a long all the way up to 13k pretty nicely, right? Uh, if we come up here and we do start to get rejected again here, then we can look for a short from this 11.8 zone all the way back down to the bottom of the channel, right? So this is kind of what we're looking at right now. This is the plan. This is how it's going on the middle term, right? And you can see with our bands as well, our, our volume weighted ATR bands coming through here, uh, we are at the top side of that range, right? So if we do get rejected here, uh, we can we can spot initial targets here at 10,000. Um, and if you were to go higher than that, that 10.5 zone will be a prominent one again, right? And this would just go down as a big, big accumulational uh, area, right? Um, uh, this was accumulational before, and I did say that, but once we made this kind of uh, symmetrical triangle here, it kind of nulled the, uh, the the accumulational area. But if we do get rejected here and we do come back down and we do start messing around here again, uh, then yeah, this is going to be more accumulation, more sideways, more 10k to 12k action before either girthy dumpage down to 8k for one more test or girthy pumpage all the way up up to 13, pull back, 14, pull back, and then potentially 16 after that. 
But um, right now, it's it's kind of one of those those areas where we're looking to see what patterns are forming. And right, and just going back here to the uh, the short term real quick, you can see that this pattern is a thing. And uh, if we were just to draw measure moves from this guy, uh, we can do that pretty simply but it's a little bit iffy because the trap zones on both sides are pretty brutal and pretty rough right so if this was on the hourly here uh, 10 7 as we just talked about and just to really clarify this to the other side it's going to be exactly the same and as you can imagine yeah it's going to be coming down testing that kind of uh, 10 9 11 k zone right so I would say this is more likely to break up than down just looking at this right now but uh, we'll see uh, because it's, I don't know, there's lots of traps towards the downside and I don't personally like that, okay? I think uh, if we do find some some support here above and, and really get back above these mid 11 threes, then uh, we can really push up from there, right? Moving on to the long term here, the long term here. And if you are enjoying the video, guys, please make sure to give it a like. Helps me out hella hella girthy a lot, okay? Uh, with this... What can we see happening here? Uh, much like we talked about uh, for the past few days, right, once we have come up here uh, and played out this first measure move on our symmetrical triangle here, right, uh, that measure move being there, we played that out nicely, right, um, but we drew it from uh, actually from something like this instead, right, um, but yeah, that measure move being playing out nicely, and now we are essentially losing that momentum so far, uh, and I would expect this to just come down, test this 11,000 zone, and then this will be acting as a pivot point. A lot of people are already saying we're going to bounce all the way up from here, um, which is is a, a plausible scenario, which can happen quite easily. Okay, but I want to be cautious with this, and I want to be ready and making sure that we're breaking over this resistance line again, and then we can look for that full measure move to 12.1, which would be fantastic, right? Girthy money, right, on a Saturday. Beautiful stuff, right? Um... If we do reject here and lose this area, we could be looking at a big, big, big descending triangle as we talked about here yesterday. Uh, this kind of thing coming through, right? Uh, if I'm just going to draw this to, to make it simply, something like this, right? Uh, which would be kind of a bit Bitcoin thing to do. Just go sideways and play this out uh, over the next kind of a few months, right? Six months being maximum, okay? Um, and then potentially coming up from here uh, and retesting this area and moving forward or uh, coming down, testing these lows, and, and going that kind of route instead, right? But I wouldn't expect to spend much time below 10,000, 9,000 if we did get down there. So it's important to be looking for big, girthy longs around that area, in my opinion, okay? Moving on to the heavenly white line of gloriness. Okay, what's, uh, we're, on, we're like seven minutes in. Interesting stuff. I would say right now it's actually looking uh, a little bit toppy, I would say. But uh, this white line is something that we often return to and hold as support, okay? We've, we haven't lost this uh, before the March crash significantly and convincingly, okay? Uh, you can see we've had a few traps below in the past, but uh, before the March crash we didn't have anything below this line, right? So what, what do we take from that? I don't know what happened with trading you there. What do we take from that? Uh, we come down, uh, we're testing this line again, potentially a second wave before uh, inevitably recovering the line and continuing the ascent towards the, the heavens here, right? So uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for there. Uh, and I will be looking for that big buy around those 9k zones if we get down there. Uh, if we do reclaim this white line and we, we find some significant maintained support in this blue area you can see, right? Um, then we're going to be looking for that long all the way up here and I don't want to get too repetitive with these videos but that's essentially my plan coming forward. That's what I'm going to be looking for and obviously we're going to be playing momentum on the shorter time frames, we're going to be playing momentum on the mid time frames and the long time frames as well, using everything in our arsenal to make maximum gains here. That's what we're after. That's that's essentially it here, right? So, um, what else is there to talk about here before we do end the video? Just checking on the time here. We've got a couple of minutes. I got stuff to do today, guys. So I'm gonna be uh, gonna be gonna be a quicker video today. But if you have enjoyed this video, and you do feel like you've learned from uh, this little bit of content that I have put out today, then uh, feel free to sign up for my webinar on Wednesday. Completely free, guys. Completely free to join that. Just go join it. Uh, I'll be teaching you how to trade for an hour, uh, and only 15 people are allowed, so please sign up. Uh, we still have seats left. If you want to sign up for that, go ahead, and uh, I will invite you via email to that at 7 p.m. UK time on Wednesday. Apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed this free value. Leave a comment if you want to enter our giveaway. You can win one month's access to any of my indicators of your choice. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I'm just going to quickly scrub up. We're going to have a little scrub up here on the fib circles. As you can see, just a, just a real summary of that being that you uh, once we have hit this green circle here, this green Fibonacci circle, we have found confluence and come back down and, and had that pullback that we talked about, right? Uh, so this is still actually coming through as something that, that is correlated. And if we did get a pump here and start really heading towards that 13k zone um, convincingly here, then I can't really hate it and um, I, I'll be more tempted to trade this kind of area and look for that confluence and look for that resistance slash support along this line that a lot of people won't, won't really be looking at. So uh, that's going to be something to, to do there. But yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Please, again, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, uh, anything you can do to help really I have t.me slash algo box if you want to check that out it's in the description it is our community if you would like a tightly knit community to just hang out with talk trading let people know about your trades and stuff like that cool stuff cool stuff so I'll see you in the next video peace out and goodbye from Bitcoin Beats